Um, welcome to this webinar. So thanks for joining me. And um, basically the idea tonight is just to share with you um, some valuable things that I've learnt uh, about essential oils and to empower you to take control of your health and happiness. Um, so let's just jump in. Firstly... I just need to say that uh, these products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure or prevent any disease. So I'm not a doctor and I try not to speak in um, medical terms. So um, we're just products are you know, intended to supplement and support your health and wellness. So I'll be talking in uh, terms of supporting and promoting and talking about our respiratory system and stuff like that. So um, I think I can still hear you, Sandra. So if you can figure out how to just mute your microphone, there should be a button on the screen that says mute. Sorry, it's a new computer. That's okay. Just on the, in the, yeah, in the um, Zoom webinar, there should be a mute on the left, I think it is. Awesome. Okay, so tonight's class, we're going to look at um, what essential oils are. I'm going to tell you a little bit about why doTERRA essential oils are awesome, how we can use essential oils, and then also how to get them in your home. So I tried this last weekend and I got cut off on time, so I'm going to do it in two parts today. Um, the first one we're going to go through what doTERRA and basic how to use how to use them and then we're going to come back and I'm going to go through our top 10 oils and then tell you how to get them at home. <coughs> so what are essential oils? So if you have a look at this picture on the left here we've got a picture of um, a peppermint leaf, microscopic peppermint leaf. Um, so the illustration shows a magnified view of what the peppermint leaf looks like and the white objects on the surface are the oil sacs. So this is where the plant stores the essential oils and they're, so they're also known as volatile aromatic compounds. So they're basically the lifeblood of the plant and we can also use them in the same way for our body to protect and protect against disease and um, to, yeah, just to nourish our bodies. So they've been used throughout history for, you know, yeah, nearly 6,000 years food preparation, beauty treatments, um, and to maintain personal health. So uh, one story I like to think about when we talk about the history of oils is the, um, the gifts of frankincense and myrrh that were given to the baby Jesus. And um, I, I never really, you know, thought about the, how precious frankincense and myrrh would have been as gifts until I really learnt about uh, frankincense in particular uh, we call it the king of the oils. So just knowing all the properties and all the uses of that oil now, I, I realise what a gift it would have actually been to a to a king and also to a poor family in that time. It would have been their medicine and um, yeah, really just the the just yeah the, the health of their family. So um, essential oils are highly concentrated. Uh, they're seventy fifty to seventy times more powerful than herbs. So this image on the left here has our peppermint oil and one drop of peppermint oil is actually has the same therapeutic benefits as 28 cups of peppermint tea. So I don't know about you, but I'd rather just have one drop of peppermint oil than 28 cups of peppermint tea. So that's the same kind of level and that's how concentrated and strong they are. Um, they also affect our body on a cellular level. So... Um, while a lot of other products that you might get um, from the chemist or such cannot, can't really penetrate in top, inside our cells because our cells have a, um, a membrane that, that kind of blocks out a lot of stuff. But the essential oil molecules are very small and they're also um, fat. They're fat soluble, so they can actually interact with the um, lipophilic, which means fat-loving membranes of our cells. So they can actually go into the cells and really um, affect our body chemistry from a cellular level. So there's actually uh, four grades of essential oils, um, aromatic compounds, sorry, that are available. So there's our man-made synthetic aromatic compounds, and this is, I guess, a lot of fragrances, uh, perfumes, 
cleaners on the market, anything that has a fragrance um, would be classified as those synthetic ones there. You know, they're, they're not real essential oils. Uh, there's food-grade extracts that are intended for cooking and ingestion. So they're, you know, uh, imported into the country as food-grade. Um, then there's therapeutic-grade, which is um, a category used to describe a lot of essential oils on the market. However, there's actually no organisation that regulates essential oil quality. So um, it's really difficult to determine the quality and safety. So um, doTERRA has made this CPTG, Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade tra um, standard. So it's really a company standard uh, that, you know, we test our, test our oils to so that they're even beyond that therapeutic grade. Um, and, yeah, they're just really awesome. So really sets the bar for purity and potency of these oils. They're sourced, um, our oils are sourced worldwide from, uh, for the best quality. So that actually means that um, we source them where plants grow indigenously. So the plants um, grow the best in, you know, those indigenous countries because they have the best soil quality, they have the best, um, you know, water and, and weather to, to thrive at their best. So that's where we source the oils from to have the best quality and best potency of essential oils. So they're um, tested rigorous, rigorously to ensure that purity and potency um, both within the company and also independently by third-party companies and, and in industries. So they're really tested and tested and tested and if, if something doesn't come to scratch, the whole batch is just, um, it's just wiped out. So we've um, been waiting for jasmine oils that we won, we all we earned in a promotion a couple of months ago and the jasmine plantation wasn't up to standard so we have been waiting a couple a little a little bit longer because we had to source the jasmine somewhere else that really stands up to that quality um, so because of that they're free of contaminants and pesticides and there's nothing else in our oils it's just 100 percent pure essential oil so doTERRA um one, the part that really sits right with me with doTERRA is our, uh, what we call co-impact sourcing. So we have oils, um, over 100 oils in our product line and we have um, over 40 countries that we source these oils from. So under those 40 countries, at least half of those could be considered um, uh, developing countries. So we're, we're working with a lot of um you know kind of poor nations thanks kate um lots lots of yeah yeah really struggling countries so it's very important to doTERRA to be putting into these countries and, and supporting um the, the economy so we pay very fair wages we actually above ward wages we pay the farmers are paid monthly uh which you know usually wasn't the case for farmers um before working with us i mean some of the some of them are paid only at harvest and harvest could be six months, 12 months, 18 months. And I mean, I've, we've been paid monthly before and even that's a stretch. So to be paid every, only every six months or 12 months, your family is quite um, hard to expect. So they paid really, really good wages from our company. And that's something that's, um, that the integrity is really of utmost importance to doTERRA. Um, we also have a, uh, charitable organisation called the Healing Hands Foundation and this is designed to empower the communities that we worked with, work with, giving them tools that they need to become self-reliant. So um, doTERRA, you know, has funds or um, organises projects such as um, putting what, what running water in these communities, putting, building schools, um, vocational uh, vocational training for for people and then also encouraging them to <coughs> to uh, coordinate co-ops with other farmers to get the best I guess the best deals for their 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 oils so how can we use essential oils so probably the most popular way is aromatically um, we can do aromatically so that's in the air topically is on our skin and then because of that CPTG 
and potency and purity of doTERRA oils, we can also use some of them internally. So breathing in and smelling essential oils can have a really profound effect on us emotionally and physically. Um, so aromatically means in the air. So the way we can use them is inhaling straight from the bottle like this lady is, um, using them in a cold steam diffuser. So we've got the diffusers down here, the little petal is the purple and white one. And the cloud diffuser is actually a waterless diffuser. That's the one on the right with that wood kind of grain along the bottom. And the way that the um, doTERRA petal works is it's just if you fill it up to the line with water, it's really easy. You just drop your oils in, probably about six drops, and you can use different blends. You can put four different oils, you put one oil, whatever you like, up to about six or seven, eight drops. Um, you just pop the lid on and you turn it on and it's ready to go one, two or four hours. Just agitates the water so it's cold steam because heat actually destroys the therapeutic benefits of our oils. So... Our uh, oil burner is nice for the smell, but you'll actually lose your therapeutic benefits. So it just agitates the water and shoots the mist out the top. So a diffuser can actually be great also for purifying the air uh, or if you've got sickness in the house or anything like that. And also great for uh, easy breathing overnight or, yeah, just any, any time. So one way that the... One reason why aromatic is fabulous so is particularly for our mood... Uh, so if you have a look at this picture here, the nasal cavity, um, there's that olfactory bulb that sits just above the nasal cavity. Now that's actually linked straight with our limbic system of the brain, which is the emotional centre of our brain. It controls, um, within there, there's parts that control our emotions, um, our memories, and also um, response to things like danger and trauma and fear and stuff like that. So we can really affect those um, thoughts, feelings, emotions by inhaling directly from the bottle, from our hands. Um, the oils are actually within in our brain within seven seconds when we um, inhale aromatically. So it can be very good for, for mood because it goes straight to the brain where we want it to be effective. So the second way to use them is topically. Now... We can use, so one drop of essential oil is um, powerful enough to service every cell in our body, really, when we're using them topically. So they're easily absorbed into the skin to support our health. Um, and we, I always recommend using a carrier oil. Um, I use the co fractionated coconut oil usually. Um, that one's great because it's had the fatty chains taken out, which means that it doesn't solidify, it doesn't smell, and it... Um, it's non-greasy as well, so it's really good for using on your body and your face anywhere. And it means that I can make up roller bottles for my family and in winter where it's cold, they're still liquid. So that's great. So um, some really great places to use them on our body. So at the bottom of our feet is fabulous because it's got big pores. It's into, in the blood system within 30 seconds. It's generally non-sensitive and um, especially for kids, it's not um, going to, you know, they're not going to get sensitive because it's near their nose. They usually can't smell it or you can pop socks over the top and it doesn't really matter. Um, back, so if anything for our, like we talked about the limbic system before, anything for um, our brain um, around our head is probably the best because we're, we're looking at support. If you can use the oils in that, close proximity to where your pain or where your need is. So for anything like head tension or brain conditions or mood, um, if you're using them topically, put them behind your ears, um, on the back of your neck. And I also use them on my wrist um, just because I can kind of smell it from there. And then there's also on the back of your neck, if you kind of go either side and down a little bit, it's called the suboccipital triangle. And it's actually a little bit of a, a bit of a divot that you can feel where um, there's a bit of a gap in the muscles and the blood rushes there go straight into the brain and then to the body. So it's going really quickly into your brain. So that's a really good place too. Um, we can also use them down our spine. Uh, I usually use it down my spine if it's for anything systemic in the body. So um, seasonal threats or colds or anything like that. Um, then, you know, if, obviously if it's on your a tummy upset, rubbing on your tummy in a clockwise direction, 
if it's sore back on your back, if it's, you know, muscle, muscle tension in knees or joints or anything like that, straight on the spot. Um, we need to be careful with sensitive skin, so keeping out of our eyes, ears, nose, and caution around sensitive areas like our pits and our bits. So you need to be careful in the bath. Don't put peppermint in your bath because you will know about it. Something nice and calming like lavender, lang lang, frankincense is much better in your bath. And then um, if we do get a sensitivity on your skin, so we don't have a lot of side effects with essential oils, but if you do get any sensitivities on your skin, then we, we would, I guess, normally rush off to wash it off with water. But oils and water don't mix. So what we actually need to do is use um, more of our carrier oil, so our coconut oil, and add more. And um, it dilutes it further. And you can either wipe it off or it just, you know, goes into into your skin further so it, it's not as sensitive. Um, yeah. What else did I have to say about that? Ah, dilution rates. I think I put a slide up about that. Oh, no, I didn't. It didn't save. Um, never mind. Um, dilution rate, if you want to write this down, is this is a really safe place to start. You can add a bit more if for an adult particularly or an acute sy system symptoms or acute um, conditions that you're not using the oil for more than a week or more at a time. Um, for ch babies over six months to two, uh, is one drop to 10 mils so that of carrier oil so that's um a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon is fine um for a child over two one drop to five mils so a teaspoon of carrier oil to one drop and for an adult um one drop to two mils one, or one to two drops in two mils roughly so um, in these, this is a 10 mil roller. So for a baby, I'd be putting just one drop in that. For a child, two to three drops and an adult, five drops maybe. So, and if it's something acute symptom like a seasonal thread or um, something like that that's really intense and you're really sick, then you could add more. Some of the blends you might find on Pinterest or such have, you know, up to 20 or more drops in them. So I wouldn't really be using that on a child though. So because of our um, stringent testing, uh, um, doTERRA oils can also be used internally. Now they can nourish our body from the inside out or we can use them for really great in food. So we're thinking, looking at the oils like, sorry, <coughs> all the citrus, the mints, the herbs and the spices uh, are all fabulous in food and they really just add a real depth of flavour and it's, they just taste amazing. So when I do my workshops at home, I usually make bliss balls with peppermint or wild orange. Um, I made peppermint brownies today. They're a bit naughty. The bliss balls are a bit healthier, so I usually make those, but we made peppermint brownies today. And then I usually make guacamole with lemon and lime or black pepper or something like that. I like lemon and rosemary in my hummus. So they just add such a depth of flavour and it's quite just, just intense and just amazing. Um, and really one or two, you know, a few drops goes a long way when you're using it in the food. Um, they can, you can add them to water uh, under your tongue or in make, you know, can make up your own kind of supplements with little empty veggie caps and just pop the oils in and use them that way. If we are using essential oils or the citrus oils in water, um, you need to use it in a glass or stainless steel container because... Um, the citrus oils can actually, they actually break down petrochemicals. So they break down the plastics and whatever's in the plastic is going to leach into your water, which we don't want. So um, you just want to always use glass or stainless steel so that it's not going to break them down. And you can know which ones to use internally because it will say dietary use on the um, bottles there. So if it says topical use, you can't use it internally. Oh, there's that chart that was supposed to be two slides ago so, okay so we're going to look at our top 10 oils now um, these are all from our two most popular kits that are available to purchase our home essentials kit and our essential collection kit and I'll tell you a bit more about those later but these are the top 10 and just a really great place to have almost everything you need to support your body
this little picture just shows, you know, two points or something that they are really good. Each of those are good for, but we'll have a good look at all of them. If you have these oils, grab them out and smell them um, as we go. So our peppermint oil. Um, now this is from, yum, this is from US Washington in Washington. So it's got a really high menthol content. So it's great for pain in our body anywhere. Um, great for invigorating our lungs as well. It's part of our respiratory blend. And as I said, yeah, pain anywhere. So calms stomach discomfort, also in our digestive blend, but you can use peppermint on its own as well. Uh, great for, um, yeah, stomach and like any kind of bloating or, or nausea. You can <laughs> smell the peppermint straight from the bottle for nausea or morning, even morning sickness. It uh, calms head tension. So it's my go-to oil for head tension and I um, I actually use it neat but I don't usually recommend that to other people because you should always use them diluted especially until you know what how your body reacts to them um, and it's also really great for increasing alertness and energy so I uh, and focus so I find um, if we have that kind of three o'clock slump I like to have peppermint and wild orange together so either a drop in my hand of each and, and a good breath in or in a diffuser is really nice and uplifting. I often diffuse peppermint and wild orange at my classes as well just to help everyone to concentrate and focus because we've got lots of information to get through. And it's really nice also for cooling the body. So in summer you could put it in a water in water and make a um make like a, a cooling spray and just a, yeah like a nice spritzer or something. So that's peppermint. So lavender. So lavender is known as our Swiss army knife of oils. Um, it's sourced from France. And whoops. Um, it's sourced from France. So linalool is the main co chemical component in lavender and it's a soothing element. So any, any kind of thing soothe that needs soothing so it's great for soothing irritated skin for bites and stings um and i l lavender is probably one of the only oils that i use neat especially on my kids i don't use them neat on my kids but lavender is very mild and very calming so i will often well like straight on a mozzie bite i'll put the lavender straight but it is best to try them diluted first um, it's really great for yeah burns, bites, stings, anything. It really uh, reduces redness, reduces swelling, and also stops that itch as well. It's great for soothing our emotions as well. So it is a calming oil. So if we're having anxious and I guess high um, emotions, it can be very calming. So it's really nice in a bath. So just for calming and you know coming back to to react like just grounding type thing and then it's also really great for helping support restful sleep and restful breathing so um fabulous in a diffuser overnight you can put it with other oils or even by itself a drop on your pillow is really good too um what else is that after sun soothing spray it's also really great for head tension as well or other feelings of tension in the body you could use it for a bit of a massage Frankincense. So frankincense is known as the king of the oils. Shh. Everyone's being noisy. I hope you can't hear them. Probably can. So frankincense is, is our king of the oils. So it supports our blood and our brain. It's the best oil for any kind of brain conditions. And frankincense as, actually has got a lot of scientific evidence behind it. So you can look that up on www.pubmed pubmed.gov as i mentioned i i can't really talk about um the medical stuff because i'm not a medical practitioner so you have to go and look for that yourself but that's there's a link pubmed www.pubmed.gov um it's great for nourishing yeah blood and the brain you can use it for top topically for beautifying skin so it's a really nice one to use on your face um, in, in a moisturiser. Apparently it's even very good for restoring eyesight if you use it like really regularly or, or, or just helping that eyesight if you 
I probably should use that more often because mine's still declining. Um, great for high emotions as well. It's a really good one for kind of really, I guess, a panic kind of moment. And some people put a drop on their thumb and just put it on the roof of their mouth. So it goes straight to that limbic system as we talked about. Um, straight into that the brain because the blood rushes right there and it's very close to the brain and it's really good for immunity so you can add this one to any kind of blends you are kind of using for immunity as well and fabulous for aches and pains so if you've got if you're using uh, peppermint for head tension or even our ice blue blend for you know muscle pain sometimes if it's not taking the edge off it, layering frankincense over the top of it is just awesome because frankincense actually um, drives the other oils in deeper and uh, accentuates the effects of the other oils. So it's really, I often just add frankincense to everything just because, well, well, frankincense is awesome, so I'll just add it. Um, so when in doubt, we say use frankincense. So tea tree, so Melaleuca, so it's called tea tree here in Australia. This is one of the, this is from Australia. So with one of our oils from Australia. And it's really great for nourishing our skin and our scalp. It's used um, really good for those for head lice. So I use it as one of the, the top oil for <coughs> battling bugs. I also use lavender and rosemary for that. And we just put it in conditioner and comb it through the hair and use it as a preventative spray as well. And it's really good really effective. Um, you can use it for feet and toenails, that's tea tree. Uh, and also, you know, any kind of, it's very, um, really good at, I guess, it's antifungal and anti, not really supposed to say what they are, antibacterial, um, but really good for nourishing sores and rashes. So mel melaleuca or tea tree is my go-to for cuts and scrapes and things and anywhere I want to prevent infection so I usually will use lavender and tea tree together for little cuts and scrapes and um, most of the time diluted you can make a little owie blend up ready to go for the kids that has tea tree lavender and even frankincense in it and that's really good for helping promote healing and stopping infection and you can also use tea tree on a cotton ball to soothe ear discomfort and you don't put the oils in your ear, but you can just put it on a cotton ball on the outside or even in the front and the back of your ear as well, you know, gently kind of around. So our next one's oregano. Now this is sourced from Turkey and it's a really good immune support. It's really strong. I actually don't like the smell. So I only, this is my big guns for when we're sick. So if we're kind of just a little bit sick or whatever, I'll, I'll use some of the other oils. But if we've really got the man version of sick, particularly, that's when this one comes out. And um, I make up a roller blend that has oregano, tea tree, lemon, frankincense, and our On Guard blend, which is our protective immunity blend. So that's my um, man sick um, blend. <laughs> and he rolls it on his feet and his spine and whatever. He's got a really shoddy immune system, so we try to boost it where we can. It's uh, oregano. You can use oregano in your cooking as well, so you could use it in your spaghetti. It's really strong, though, so uh, even less than a drop. So dip a toothpick in and then just swirl it through. And you always add, because um, I mentioned that the oils um, are destroyed by heat, so add it right at the end of your cooking and stir it through. Um... Oregano you can also use for warts as well, really helps. They actually get rid of the warts. So you just need to put um, coconut oil around the wart and then uh, just to protect the skin. And then we actually use oregano neat on the wart. So you pop it on a toothpick or a cotton tip and just dab it in the middle and cover it as well. And then do that a couple of times a day. And most people that have done that have said the wart's kind of gone within five to seven days so it works really effectively and just making sure you protect that skin around the wart though so lemon let's where's lemon no oregano i didn't even change my slide sorry about that um lemon so lemon is sourced from italy and it's really good at breaking down the petrochemicals in our body and detoxing our body so it's 
great in your, in your drinking water every morning. Um, similar properties to having lemon juice in your water, but it doesn't break down the enamel of your teeth because it's um, not as highly acidic like lemon juice because it's made from the rind of the fruit, not the juice of the fruit. Um, it's great for neutralising odours, so great for cleaning, breaking down those chemicals. And then the, the odours, it's just really great in your cleaning, in a cleaning spray, in your, in your washing your floors, whatever. It's great for soothing irritated throat. So if you've got a sore throat, it's really nice, a couple of drops of lemon in some raw honey. And you can either just put it on the spoon and just take that or make a bit of a tea uh, with some hot water. I tend to add, uh, make an immunity tea with um, two drops of lemon, one drop of ginger, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and a teaspoon of the raw honey and then water. And it's kind of like that lem sip. Um, you, um, I really love lem sip, so <laughs> I try not to have that stuff now, but it works pretty awesome and it tastes similar. Um, what else? Really good antioxidant, high in antioxidants too. And um, it's also really good for elevating mood. So all of the citrus oils are great for elevating our mood. And so just a really nice one in the diffuser with anything, lavender and peppermint, it's really good in the diffuser with lemon. And purifies the air, supports healthy respiratory function as well. So it can be very good for our respiratory system in, say, with the easy air in a diffuser or just even smelling it. Our deep blue. So this is our muscle blend, soothing blend. So it smells like deep heat from the um, chemist. So it does the same thing, but it's the, well, it does a better thing, actually, because it's the natural essential oils that, are, that they're making that synthetically from. So great for nourishing our muscles and joints. And it's got in it, it's got wintergreen, camphor, peppermint, blue tansy, blue chamomile, helichrysum, and osmanthus. And did I say peppermint? Yeah. So it's really good. It's got that really strong wintergreen smell and really great for muscles and joints. You can use it before and after exercise. And it also comes in a cream. I didn't bring the cream out, but it comes in a cream form as well. So just even easier to use. Great for deep tissue massage as well. Um, and then if you are having that chronic pain, you can add the frankincense over the top of the ice blue, which is really good. Um, easy air. So this is our, yum, I love that one. This is our respiratory blend. So it's got, it's got eucalyptus, peppermint, laurel leaf, tea tree, lemon, Raven Sarah and cardamom in it. And it's really great for our lungs and our sinuses. Um, you can diffuse it at bedtime for healthy and restful breathing. I actually use it in our diffuser every single night because my husband snores and it really helps. It just helps him breathe better or it helps me breathe better and I sleep better. So either or it's working. Um, and you can use that. Best good places to use that one is on your chest on the bottom of your feet, on the back, and always dilute it with the coconut oil on the bottom of your feet. Yeah, for any, uh, or even because the respiratory system obviously where is our breathing in, a drop in the hand and breathing it in is just awesome. It's probably even the, the better way to use that. So do that as well as using it on your chest if you are sick. So our Slim and Sassy, oh, I didn't change it again. I'm awful at this, aren't I? Okay. <laughs> um, Slim and Sassy. This is our metabolic blend and it supports a healthy metabolism. So it's got grapefruit, lemon, peppermint, ginger and cinnamon oils in it. Really great for um, helping break down petrochemicals. So it's got those citrus in it that do that. Supports healthy energy and also lifts mood. Calms our stomach and manages hunger and sugar cravings. So that's really awesome. So you can either put that in your water. That's good in your water to have between meals. Um, and apparently you can also apply it topically on arms and legs to help with cellulite. I haven't used it like that. But I also like it in the diffuser because it's got those, it's got the mint and it's got the citrus and it's got 
like ginger and cinnamon. So it's a really nice mix in the diffuser and very uplifting and, and helps you to focus as well. One of my friends likes to use it when she's cleaning the house in the diffuser. Change. Yes. Okay. Digest scent. So this is our digestive blend. And this one smells strongly of aniseed. And in it, it has ginger, peppermint, caraway, coriander, anise seed, tarragon, and fennel. So all oils that support our digestive system. So easing anything in the digestive system, easing digestive discomfort, um, helping with motion sickness or nausea. You can use it if, particularly great if you have like food intolerances where you know you might have eaten some gluten when you're not supposed to or if you're eating out at a restaurant and you're not always sure exactly what's what's in those um they you know say it's gluten free but it might not be so it's really good to have to just pop in your water and drink what with your meal um and it's also really great for when the kids have the vomiting bugs or something i wouldn't i don't use the oils internally with my kids really except in the food, which is, you know, such a small amount in um, a larger, I guess, a big, a big lot of food. So, but for myself, if I had a vomiting, if I had vomiting, I would take it in the water, in my drinking water. But with the kids, I just put it in coconut oil and rub it on their tummy in a clockwise direction. So that's the way that our colon goes on our body. So we want to support that and rub it in that, that um, clockwise direction. Um, and the last one, now this is the On Guard Protective Blend. So this one's fabulous for, this is our immunity boosting blend. Now, um, this is great for this time of year. I diffuse it quite often. And if we're sick in the diffuser with Easy Air, sometimes Oregano if we're really sick, but even just Easy Air, On Guard, and if at bedtime, Lavender with them in the diffuser. But um, I have a roller that the kids use um like morning or night they put it on their feet they put it down their spine really protect them as they go to school and daycare um, it's also great you can roll it up and down your um, throat if you have a sore throat um it's great for getting rid of those airborne threats as well so you can diffusing it if someone has come over that's sick and just really protecting your family getting rid of any of those bugs in the air <coughs> And one of the, it's got, oh, so it's got um, wild orange, uh, clove, cinnamon, rosemary, and eucalyptus. So clove's actually the highest, highest thing in antioxidants in the world. So there's an ORAC scale of antioxidants. And um, so, so something that might, a lot of people think is high in antioxidants is blueberries. And the blueberries, I think, was 22,000 on this ORAC scale. But clove is over a million. So it's really high in antioxidants. And so that actually fights the free radicals in our body. And the free radicals cause disease. They age us. They just kind of, yeah, break down the good stuff in our body. So we want to get rid of those. And that's where the antioxidants come in. So really great for our immunity then. And um, oh, one thing that's really yummy is the On Guard apples. So you can slice up apples and then pop them in some water with a drop or a few of the On Guard. And it's really, it's really tasty and the kids really like it too. Uh, and just, you know, really good immune boosting snack for the kids and for yourself. Okay, I thought I'd just share quickly... Um, the mood management oils that I just love these oils. So these are on top of that, I guess there's that top 10 and then these are probably my next top ones. So if you have a look at this um, chart here, you can see that crossbar. So we've got the um, left to right is the emotional level. So feeling no peace, feeling no passion. Um, the vertical line is the physical. So we've got fatigued and stressed. So if, you might, if you're in quadrant one and you might be feeling angry, impatient, um, so, you know, no peace and but tired. Uh, stomach, physically you might be feeling stomach ache and headache. So the serenity, or we call it lavender peace here in Australia, that's the blend 
that's great for that. So it's calming, it's soothing, uh, alleviates anxious feelings, reduces the cortisol, which is our um, stress hormone, and helps ease nervous tension. It's really great for sleep too. So I pop that one in the diffuser, usually with something like vetiver or cedarwood or wild orange for the kids. And I'll, it's just such a beautiful smelling oil. It's got some florals and um, it's just got a base of vanilla. So it's beautiful and really sweet. So quadrant two, you might be feeling no passion but tired, can't be bothered to do anything, unmotivated, discouraged. You might have chest tightness or brain fog. So we want to invigorate ourselves. We've got our Citrus Bliss Invigorating Blend. And this is great for, it also alleviates those anxious feelings but promotes physical energy and has any depressant qualities and also helps ease that nervous tension. So this is another one that has beautiful vanilla undertones. It's got all of our citrus oils and vanilla. So it's just beautiful and it's also the oil of creativity. So really great to diffuse if you're doing art or anything like that. Um, number three, no peace but really stressed, so kind of high and like just really anxious. You might feel tense and worried, you might have digestive upset and neck pain. So balance is the one that is our grounding blend and that's recommended for that. And I just love balance. I think that's probably my top go-to mood oil. And uh, it's really grounding and balancing. So it helps with both levels of anxious or low moods. Helps just to bring you to that equilibrium again. It's really consoling, helps rid feelings of anger, gives you a positive attitude and releases emotional blocks. This one's also really great for the kids and is one of probably the top oils that's suggested for children that have high behavioural things or high energy and anger and things like that. So fourth... Our, um, mood, our, what are we looking? So you're stressed but no passion. So you might be feeling hopeless or withdrawn, tight-chested and lower back pain. So this is our joyful blend. This has um, got some florals and it's got some, it's really kind of sweet and florally. Lots of flower oils in it. But it's very inspiring. And it was actually, this was one was actually, formulated as um, kind of an antidepressant so is very good at relieving those those but up, uplifting but um, you know relieving those depressive mood relieve stress and invokes cheerful as well so it's got those real florals and if um, if you've got chia it's kind of similar to chia but it's a bit different so we've got heaps of other things as well so You've got the oils, but so many of we've got so many other products based on these oils. We've got um, skincare lines, we've got conditioner and shampoo, uh, the supplements, and heaps of other. We've got like a cleanse, um, gut cleanse, and then the on guard ones on the right there. So we've got throat drops, we've got cleaning concentrate, laundry liquid. Heaps and heaps of products based on these oils. Toothpaste, I love the toothpaste, we use that. All right, so if this is you, that was me, um, must buy all the oils. Let me tell you how to do it. I've used this meme a few times, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so how do you get your essential oils? So of course you can buy them retail if you want, but if you're that person in the previous one and want all the oils, um, if you're going to get more than two a year, always suggest getting yourself a wholesale account. So the wholesale account gives you 25% off all your oil purchases. Um, plus you can be a part of our loyalty rewards program if you want to, but you don't have to. You could just buy your oils uh, as you want to a few times a year and that's all and get you 25% off. It's a yearly renewal of $25 and you actually get given your free peppermint oil. So I've just come up to my year so this next LRP that I'm placing in the next couple of days um, is really timely because I've just run out of my peppermint. So I'm getting my free peppermint, yay. So this kind of shows us the difference between those retail and the wholesale benefits. So 25% off your retail prices, you have the access to that loyalty, loyalty rewards program. And the way that this works is you actually earn product points back 
on your purchases um, on this rewards program. So for the first three months, you're in 10% back on your purchase. The next three months, it's 15. Each three months up to 13 months, you're getting 30% back in product points and then you can spend them on anything you like. You also get shipping rewards on the on the hot in your wholesale orders, your, your LRP orders. So you're um, getting all your shipping points, shipping cost back in points as well. And there's also the bonus of a free product of the month. We have a free product of the month club with orders over 125 PV placed by the 15th. So this month, if you ordered, if you joined um, in, ju in July or earlier and you wanted to go on that LRP, this month is a 5 mil digest send. Um, for those who haven't booked yet, who haven't uh, got their account yet, the LRP kicks in the month after you join. So you can't, pl you can't place your enrolment order this month and then still get an LRP this, later this month. You have to wait till the first month afterwards. Um, so how to get started. So obviously you choose the oils that speak to you the most or what you, know, what you need in your life. But the best deal that... The best deals available are these enrolment kits. Now, they include the wholesale membership in the price. You get more products for less. Um, some of them have pre free product points um, and higher rewards if you use some of the bigger kits. I'm going to share with you the most popular ones. So these two both have those 10 oils that we just went through. I think it was 11 oils, actually. Well, the first ones. So the Home Essentials Kit, this is the full-size product except Ice Blue only comes in 5 mil, so that's the full size. Um, they're 15 mil bottles and 5 mil. So 15 mil has 20, 250 drops in them and your 5 mils have 85 drops. Now the Home Essentials kit comes with the pedal diffuser, so you're saving 120 off all those oils, so you're really getting your pedal diffuser plus a couple of those oils for free. Includes the um, includes the... $35 fee. So $330 is the price of that one. Now PV equals points value. As you can see, our PV is always a bit less than the price. Um, and that's just how a lot of, you know, direct sales or type companies, they use points. It's just what they base all their sales, I guess, on. Um, so the next one is the Essential Collection Kit. Now this one is... Uh, Great one if you kind of just want to try, see which oils you like the most of and then plan to replace the ones you use more of. Um, and sorry, it's telling me I've got 10 minutes left. Okay, so this one's got the five mil sizes um, of all the oils, but you also get a free Slim and Sassy, which is full, full size. And that one's $174, These plus shipping for these. So that's a really good one to kind of get started on. So the account also gives you the option. So you can be just a user and just live your oils, take care of your health and your family, learn about how to use the oils um, and just use them and order as you want. There's also the sharing option. Now this gives you actually, you can share the oils with your friends and family and um, doTERRA actually rewards you for referring friends and family to I guess our company which you know you can't go into Maya and buy something and get and refer someone and they'll reward you so it's a really awesome way to do that um, you'll actually earn some commission when your friends sign up and then you can use that to pay for your own oils in your next order so it's a really great way to help get your orders paid for and once you've got the experience of the oils you just want to share them with everyone because they just work so amazingly and support your body so well you just want to share but you can also build a business with this. So doTERRA has a fabulous compensation plan, amazing integrity, amazing um, opportunities for financial freedom. So it's, you know, it's, it's, it's working hard for a little while, but there's a snowball effect that kicks in after a few ranks up. And it, once you're leading people and they're enrolling people, it's just got an amazing opportunity for financial freedom for your money for your family and this money just keeps coming you know you've got that abundance for your family so if that's something that interests you you can talk to the person who invited you or to myself so this is about sharing so if you are interested in hosting your own class if you're in Brisbane I can do a class for you if you're not we can do one via Skype 
and particularly if you have your own oils it's really and if you don't then we can get you like a little samples to pass around or something but getting your own oils obviously you want them in your house as soon as you can but get your own oils and just you can pass them around and I can run through what we just did and talk about the oils as you pass them around if you want to do something via Skype with friends and family. So hopefully you've learnt some stuff. We've talked about what the oils are, um, doTERRA oils, why the difference in our oils, how to use them and how to get them. So I hope you feel empowered to take control of your health and happiness and um, you know, obviously, if you don't have the oils in your home, you'll want to get them because they're amazing. And just chat to the person who invited you to get your account set up, or you can all, you can also chat to me. Um, you know, I'm supporting quite quite a few girls who are just getting started and sharing, so I'm always happy to do that.